Carnival Come Back Home 2024. That's the theme for the launch of Carnival 2024, happening on Saturday, the 4th of November at the Queen's Park Savannah. To give us some insight on how that's going to rule out, Winston Gypsy Peters, NCC Chairman, joins us on the Now Morning Show. Good morning. Hi, good morning, good morning, Yanka. Good morning to all who are there with you. And good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and wherever else in the world you're seen and heard. Welcome, albeit virtually, because does that mean that you're still in Tobago post-carnival? No, that means that I'm in beautiful sunny Miaro right now. Ah, enjoying the yeah. warmth of the sunshine. I love it. I want to yes, say thanks I for joining am. us because, as I said, I did see you in Tobago for carnival, so I know you've yeah, been busy. Yeah. But I, I have to there, ask, yeah. why is carnival coming back home? It didn't leave. Explore that well, theme no, for me a little bit. That, it, 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 means, it means a couple of things. It means a couple of things. It means that we are not too far removed from the pandemic, which was recently, even though we had a carnival between that. But we went back to, not to, to, to our normal sea rally. Okay. And it means the two things. It means carnival, come back. We're right into the swing of things. We into, now we're getting into more all the things we are get, that we are accustomed to. Mm. And it also means carnival, you, 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 come back, come back, come, come, come home. Let's have a wonderful time. I hear you, I hear you. Yeah. Now, I, we spoke earlier this week uh, to the Pantron Rigo team telling us that Panorama had launched a little bit earlier. Was there a specific yeah. reason for that separation or any sort of communication therein? Oh, yeah, we have, we have separation. Yeah, we, we, we have communication. And it is not nothing you just get from one thing to the other. So you just finish one thing, you go right into the other. Saturday you know, into Sunday. Between, yeah, yeah, Carnival, Calypso, Pan, there's a synergy there, you know, Enough. and there's a, there's, there's a cohesion between the both of them, between well, the three of them. So the thing about it is that Pan and Calypso actually makes Carnival, and Carnival and supports Pan and Calypso and Mass, all the other things that comes with Carnival. Speaking of synergy, let's talk about what the launch would actually look like, because you have quite a bit of activity happening at this grand launch. Tell yes, us what we can look forward look, to on Saturday. The launch would look like a mini carnival, which is what it is. It is basically a, a smorgasbord of, of all the things that, that, that is carnival, that Trinidad and Tobago Carnival has to offer. It is a smorgasbord of that. So that is all that you're going to get. You're going to have mass, you're going to have pan, you're going to have... You know, you're going to have Calypso, you're going to have international performers, you'll have national performers, you'll have all the ingredients that goes into Carnival. And okay. then mm -hmm. we are making it in such a way that you are going to have a good time. It's Carnival is not a stoic thing, and we are not about to make it that. Absolutely not. We hear Soka, we move. But I find that you're a little tight lipped with the names on the cast. Can I have at least a name or two of a performer? Well, we have, we have, we have, yes, we have a whole lot of singers from Trinidad. We have Super Blue, we have Alison Hines out of Barbados. I don't have the whole list in front of me. And you know that the producer is one of the best creative minds that we have in Trinidad and Tobago. I say so and I mean that because I've seen that creativity in this person even before I was even associated with him, and that's Davlin Thomas. So it, 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 it is really, I mean, I see this man take a piece of white paper, and when he, he described this white paper to you, you swear that the paper, you watching it white, and by, he's describing it, and you've seen all this thing that he's saying with all these different colors. He's just a creative mind, so he's putting all of this together. As a matter of fact, the very name, Carnival Comeback, it is, it is, it is, it is that's from his brain. Right. That makes sense. You know, he, he, you know he's, the, he's the deputy chairman of the National Carnival Commission. Right. Now, so let's talk a, a little bit about... We reside on that board. Can we talk a little bit about the planning therein? Because when we talk about a launch, it kind of usually is the hallmark of a few other things happening thereafter. When we see this launch taking place, do we have other activities that the NCC is going to put their stamp on to continue through yeah. the season? Through the season, of course. Well, the NCC puts a stamp on most everything that happens, even the very private parties that they have in all over the place, the NCC. The NCC stamp is on those things, too, because it is not for, for our carnival. Those things will never be taking place. 
those things intensify around the carnival season. So we have to create that. We have to create that atmosphere. We have to create that hype. We have to create that 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 kind of feeling. So we do our best to see how we can come up with all of that, so that until until the 12th and the 13th of February, people can 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 feel a different way. You know, you have a different feeling. It's like when Christmas comes. Christmas <laughs> don't have any any particular person planning it, but right. Christmas has everybody taking part in it. And because of that, it, it has that atmosphere, which is basically the same thing. The NCC drives that feeling. Now, Jim, let me ask, before we go into dates and, of course, costs and those sorts of details, we just mm -hmm. spoke with a representative for the Tobago Carnival, giving us a summary of how things went. And one of the things he yeah. mentioned was that there was supposed to be some support from the NCC that he claimed he didn't receive. Any details you want to share on Tobago's carnival well, from know, the I, NCC I, I perspective? Didn't, I didn't hear him, and I did not know exactly what support they want. I know that one of the things that we discussed earlier I discussed with the secretary, and it was that we sent. We, they wanted some some boots on the ground, as it were, to ensure that they, that that we help them with some of the planning things. But I think that these things have to start much earlier than we started to do it, because getting these people there and getting some of our planners in there with their planners takes a little more time than we had. Because mm -hmm. remember that we are also involved in promoting Trinidad and Tobago's carnival outside of Trinidad and Tobago. So you find we have some intervention in Toronto and we have some intervention in in England and we have some intervention in, in, in New York and Miami, all the major carnivals, because that is where the, a, a lot of the, the, the foreign enthusiasm comes from, you know, and that impetus to come to Trinidad and we create that. So by the time we got around to talking about that, that is what happened. But we had our intervention because you were there just as I was, and basically all the pretty masks that you saw in Tobago came from Trinidad. And most of it, we on, on our board, we have commissioners that, are, that has responsibility for, for certain things. In, in terms of Pan, you have Beverly Ramsey Moore. You have Ainsley King in terms of the Calypso. You have, um, you have, you have, you have um, Commissioner Rosalind Gabriel in terms of the masks. Right. So they went... They went and we did, they spoke to Rosalind Gabriel, which is the right person to talk to about masks. But that is an NCC input as well, because she is on the board of the NCC. Understood. And she, whatever she does has to do with the NCC. While they might be an entity on their own, but they represent the NCC, whatever they do is like me. In that am, case, Gypsy, yes. bringing it back home then, on Saturday we are getting ready to head to the Savannah. If you were to yes. leave Pearsons with one last bit of advice as to why they should come on down, what because would you say to the people? we are going to be having all the events, that would, all the things inside of our event that beckons you to come to our event and have a good time. And you're going to have that. It's, it's like a prelude to Carnival. It's like, it's like snippets of what Carnival 2024 is going to be. It's excerpt from little things, that, that, that small things, you know. Like take, for instance, a lot of people in Port of Spain, especially do not understand that our carnival is not centered in Port of Spain, you know. Trinidad and Tobago is the only place in the world, and it's because carnival comes from here, that we play mass in every That's nook right. and cranny in, in, in Trinidad. That's right. So when you go to but, Toco, you will find a different kind of mass than when you go to Point Fountain, mm -hmm. and you will find a different thing if you go to Sandy Grandi and Arima and Tunapuna and all the way, and that is what we have. And some of these things we call traditional masks right. because they are traditional to us. And I want to I want to make one thing clear because all the time, you know, people in Trinidad and Tobago, especially, and I I, I don't mean to to, to 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 criticize the Christian, you know, people, but just to say because I know that the Catholic had a ban and I wish they would put out one again because they understand why carnival is being held and how it come about and all of that. A lot of people see our characters and stuff there, our characters, our characters and stuff that is in Carnival, and they bastardize it and think this is devil thing because when they see the devil, they don't even know that some of them very characters that they're seeing in our Carnival is today responsible for some of our freedom, that w some of no, the freedom Jesse, that we I enjoy. I feel the passion. Yep. I hear the passion. And we're going to experience yep. it on Saturday, but we're running out yep. of time. So I guess we'll see you there and then. So so why are you putting on all the program at the very end of this right here? So, and next well, time next time you come and do a sit down, right? 
Listen, and we'll listen, have a longer conversation. Make sure, make sure when next time you call me to talk, or you give me time to talk. I'm a talker, and I like to say the right thing. So call me next time. But anyway, I enjoyed this morning. Take well, care. we're glad I'm that you did time. join us, although yesterday you would have come had on, more time. On, but we'll get on to that soon. Come on down soon. on Saturday and <laughs> but enjoy we'll, yourself. Come on we'll down see you on Saturday. On down yes, please come on down. Have a great morning. Thank you for joining us. And on Saturday, we're going to head to the launch of Carnival happening at the Queen's Park Savannah. Carnival, come back home, we say. But for now, we take a break on the Now Morning Show.